Hi, this is Rick Hansen on Do What You Can, the 35th practice in my book, Just One Thing. As lots and lots of research on depression um, has shown, uh, one of the pathways into depressed mood is what's called learned helplessness, a sense of basically entrapment, futility, and defeat. And one way to fast track ourselves into unnecessary feelings of helplessness are to try to do things that we just can't do. It's really out of our power to do it. To borrow an idea from Stephen Covey's excellent book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, it's as if in life there's a circle of, of uh, influence, what we can actually affect, and then the circle of concern. Uh, that which is in our circle of influence, outside of the circle of concern, is a wasted opportunity. The intersection of the two is the sweet spot, and the circle of concern outside of the circle of influence is, in effect, a kind of hell. So, to focus on doing what we actually can do, part of it is to let go of what you can't and just face a kind of grieving or mourning about that. And I don't want to trivialize that. I'm not being glib. That's often a really big deal. The other side of it, though, is to focus on what we can do and actually exercise the initiative, the power, and the agency that truly is in our own hands. To paraphrase Nikosi Johnson, a little boy in South Africa who was born with HIV, became a national spokesperson for kids born with HIV until he died around age 12. His saying that I routinely remember is essentially, do all that you can in the place where you are, in the time that you have with what you've been given. So may we do what we can.